A serial dilution is a laboratory technique used to create a series of solutions from an initial stock solution. Typically, a constant dilution factor is used, resulting in a geometric decrease in concentration. This process involves repeatedly diluting the solutions in series to achieve the desired concentrations for experimentation or analysis. Serial dilutions are commonly employed in various scientific fields, including biology, chemistry, and microbiology. They serve several important purposes. They can be used to prepare a standard curve. The standard curve serves as a reference or calibration tool that allows you to quantitatively analyze the concentration of unknown samples. It is widely used in analytical chemistry for various applications, including the quantification of chemical compounds, drug concentrations, pollutants, and biomolecules. The accuracy and precision of the standard curve are crucial for obtaining reliable and reproducible quantitative results. In microbiology, a serial dilution can reduce the concentration of a sample to a manageable level while still being able to calculate the original concentration. A serial dilution can also create a range of experimental conditions, such as evaluating the effect of fertilizer concentration on plant growth or determining the lethal dose of a substance. To perform a serial dilution, begin with a stock solution to be diluted. Determine the desired dilution factor. 1 to 10 is a common dilution factor that creates a logarithmic dilution, but other factors can also be used, such as a 1 to 2 dilution, where each solution is half as concentrated as the previous solution. The dilution factor can be expressed as a ratio of the volume of the initial solution used in the dilution to the final volume of the dilution. In the case of a 1 to 10 dilution, the dilution factor is 1 divided by 10, or 1 tenth. Label each tube in the series with the concentration it will contain. These can be noted as a ratio such as 1 to 1, 1 to 10, or 1 to 100. Or they can be noted as scientific notation, 1, 10 to the negative 1, 10 to the negative 2, etc. So that we end with the same final volume in all of our tubes, begin with 10 milliliters of our stock solution. In each dilution tube, add 9 milliliters of diluent. We arrive at this volume by subtracting the initial volume from the final volume. From the stock solution, withdraw one milliliter and add it to the first tube. Mix the solution by pipetting up and down. When it is fully mixed, withdraw one milliliter from the one to 10 tube and add it to the one to 100 tube. Mix by pipetting up and down. Repeat this process until one milliliter has been added to each tube. Remove one milliliter from the final tube and dispose of it so that all tubes have the same volume, nine milliliters. The series is now ready to be used in its intended application. Serial dilution, you are able to employ this technique in various scientific disciplines to enable precise concentration adjustments, prepare standard curves for accurate quantification, and create diverse experimental conditions.